Welcome to Electron Line, and here we're going to talk about the resolving power of a diffraction grating. The resolving power of diffraction grating really refers to the ability to take two very closely spaced lines of very closely spaced wavelengths, send them through the diffraction grating, and separate them sufficiently so they can be seen as two separate lines on the screen or through a microscope where we're actually looking at the light coming directly at us. So let's say we take the two lines of sodium. Sodium has what we call a doublet. Sodium has a doublet in the yellow oranges light with a wavelength anywhere for, for the first one is 589 nanometers and the second one is 589.59 nanometers. So they're very, very closely spaced together in wavelength. So when that light of sodium of a sodium lamp goes through a diffraction grating, it will split the two lines apart very, very just barely, just a, with a very small separation angle. So the question is, are we going to be able to see that as two separate lines or is it going to be seen as a single line? And that depends upon two things. It depends upon the diffraction grating, the number of lines per centimeter, and how wide the diffraction grating is. In other words, how many total lines that you have. And also what order we're looking at it. The first order, the lines are closer spaced together. The second order, they're spaced further apart. The third order, they're spaced farther apart again. So where can we start looking for the separation of the two very closely spaced lines? Well, Rayleigh's criterion indicates that the only way that we can separate the two lines is if the maximum of the second, way, uh, second light is at least as far away as the minimum of the first one. That that must be the minimum separation distance. In order for that to happen, the resolving power of the diffraction grating must be greater than the average value of the wavelength of the two waves coming in divided by the difference in the wavelength. Delta, oh, I shouldn't write delta y, that should be delta lambda. There we go. And the uh, resolving power is equal to the order, the first order, second order, third order, times the number of slits. So what we now have to do is calculate the total number of slits, which is equal to the width of the diffraction grating times the number of lines per centimeter. In our example, let's say that the width is 1.2 centimeters and the number of lines per centimeter is 600. So the number of slits in that diffraction grating is going to be 1.2 centimeters times 600 lines per centimeter. Centimeters cancels out and that would give us 720 total lines or slits in our diffraction grating. So the resolving power R is equal to the order M times the number of slits or lines. So in this case, if we look for the first order, that would be one times 720. So the, the resolving power for the first order of that particular diffraction grating is 720. Now the question is, is that greater than the average value of the wavelength divided by the difference in the wavelength. Well, let's go find out. So the average value of the wavelength is going to be the sum of the two, two, the two. so y is lambda 1 plus lambda 2 divided by 2, and we divide the whole thing by the difference of lambda 2 minus lambda 1. All right, so this would be equal to 589 plus 589.5. 5, 9 divided by 2 and the whole thing divided by the difference which is 0 0.59 all right that would be that ratio and we can then see that we take 589 plus 589.59 and divide by 2 that would be the average value and we divide by 0 0.59 which is the difference and we get oh I have I need my glasses it's getting late 999 all right, so that is equal to 999, and the question is, is the resolving power greater than that? And the answer is no. 720 is smaller than 999, so therefore, in the first order, you're not going to be able to see the separation of two lines of sodium. But what about the second order? Well, for the second order, <clears throat> so R for the second order is equal to two times the number of lines per in the diffraction grating, so in this case, that's equal to 1440. Since 1440 is bigger than this, then you can say yes, for the, in the second order, we're going to be able to see the separation of the two lines in sodium, even though they're so closely spaced together in wavelength, you can resolve them in the second order, but not in the first order. And that's what we mean by the resolving power of a diffraction grating. Now, 
If you want to be able to see it without having to go to the second order, you may get a diffraction grating that has more slits per centimeter. For example, if we use one that has 2,000 lines per centimeter and it's 1.2 centimeters wide, then of course this would be 1.2 times 2,000 or 2,400, which is much greater than, um, than 999. So right away in the first order, you would be able to already see it. So the number lines per centimeter in diffraction grating, the greater that number, the higher the resolving power of the diffraction grating. And that's how we figured it out.